when uh, running a script on the command line, you can provide various command line parameters. I know that for Windows users it's a little strange because they're not so much used for the command line, but uh, that's how we are using Perl most of the time, at least in this, in this uh, course material. So when you run a script like this, let's say we have this read underscore arg vpl, and then you can and run into Perl and name of the script. Then here, after the name of the script, I can provide one or more words that are command line parameters. Now I can do that free of free of any anything uh, anything here, but uh, the important uh, thing is how can this script know about these variables? So uh, Perl automatically creates an array. Let's go back here. An array called at argv with capital letters that will be filled with these values here. So this blue will be the first element in the argv, naming this is dollar argv in the zeros place. And um, if you're coming from other programming languages, you might it might be strange a little bit because for other programming languages where argv exists, it usually includes also the name of the program. In Perl, it doesn't. In Perl, it only includes the parameters to the program, and the name of the program can be found in this variable called $0. It's sort of a mix, because in shell, you will always have everything you would have in $0, $0, $1, and so on, and you don't have an argv. On the other hand, in C, you have everything in argv, including the name of the code. In Perl, $0 is the name of the script, and argv, this array, has all the parameters. So actually you can check whether argv is zero, is empty, um, and if it is empty it means that you haven't received any parameter, and that's the logic behind the whole thing, I think. So here this is an example where we go back to the previous uh, 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 part where we were trying to create a, a menu from colors. Now let's think about it how people will get fed up uh, are always choosing the, the color from a menu especially when they already know uh, what color they would like to give or if they want to automate this whole script so let's say you built an application that started from this uh, script with the menu and you wanted to allow the user to run it from an external script providing the color on the command line that's a very good use case so here is an example the, the script uh, we, we declare the, the variable, and here I go a little bit too too much, I wrote a little bit too much code, but uh, you check whether the argv is uh, in the zero space defined, and if it is, then assign it to dollar $color. Now, this is actually not really necessary, this whole uh, condition, because you can just assign from argv0 to dollar $color, and it would be undef if it's not defined, and it would be the, the value if it's uh, defined. So actually this if condition around uh, the assignment is, is not really necessary. But then if you go on, uh, now you have uh, you might have the dollar color value already, so the whole uh, prompt thing was moved within a condition checking whether the dollar color is not defined. So if it's not defined, meaning the user haven't given it on the command line, then we go and prompt. Otherwise, we skip the whole prompting and we already arrive to the selected color, which is this one. So go ahead, try this uh, script, uh, maybe type it in, and uh, try how it works.